Oh, hi guys! It's hey, Dodger and Fosky. Uh, we're doing another tutorial today on... Expect that level of enthusiasm to, to wane rapidly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're yeah. doing a tutorial on, um, on drum rolls today. <laughs> Somebody, actually, not, a lot of people have been asking it's about quite highly requested, rolls. isn't it? Yeah. 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 So uh, we're going to be talking about how we do our drum rolls, things like in Come Again and all that kind of stuff. Mm. Um, a lot of people are pointing out the drum kit's a bit out of shot. It's nothing to do with that. I bought that because it was cheap. I never fucking use it. <laughs> so um, there's three ways we do it. Yeah. Well, what we're going to do is cover a couple of old methods, which are still completely applicable and can work, and then our basically what current method, as we could call it. Um, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So um, these yeah, are also these are by no means every way to do it. These are the yeah, as we always see in tutorials, there isn't a correct way to make music, it's just ways you can do it. So we're going to run through two alternative ways first, and then the third one is going to be the way that we generally do it. Yeah. So Chris, I guess it's yeah. the time for the switch. Really, mate? <laughs> <laughs> right. <coughs> a bit out of practice on that one. Yeah, I feel a bit, yeah. <laughs> right. Right, okay, you lovelies. I'm going to, this is just like... It's kind of monkey's play, whatever the expression is. It's really simple. Charles play. Charles play or mon monkey kind of. There's monkeys involved somewhere, I'm sure. <laughs> so, all I've done, um, you can see here, vengeance, trusted vengeance samples. There are hundreds of fills in vengeance. Um, so I've just gone and picked a few. That... Club sounds three. <laughs> there you go. There's loads in there. Yeah. Um, there's loads that have Tom um, samples in the fills. And what I'm going to do here is very, very quickly, because it's so easy, is just show you chopping out those tom hits, and then I've already made a little thing really rough of how that can sound, and then quickly show you what processing goes on top of that. So, I'll just play you the fills first, which I selected for no reason other than the fact they had tom, toms in. There you go, all of those have got tom samples in. Those are unchopped, those are before we yeah. process them, so they just come straight out of uh, Vengeance Loop. And I'll quickly show you chopping, we all know what chopping is, but might as well. So within this, just loop that up. Um, let's find them. So, so you can hear the toms there, dung, dung, dung. So we just chop that out, chop that out, and chop that out. And the thing to be wary of with vengeance samples is in this one, there's actually a, a ghost hi-hat, which isn't obvious on first listen, but if I just loop that for a little second, you can hear the hi-hat there. So. You can just see it in the waveform as well, so just chop that out. It's not, I'm not being exact, you can be more exact when you're doing it properly. Um, I'm sure there's probably one there as well. And take that. So those are three, now we have three Tom samples. Just line them up and loop them. So you can hear, so these are the chopped out ones. Probably put a little um, fade out to avoid any clipping or glitching. So they've actually got a snare roll underneath them, which I've just noticed as well. But in context with other ones, so if you were to chop out ones in this loop as well. So that has two there, dung dung. So it's, I'll just do it again to see, get, get what's going on here. So yeah, I'll just put them in line of them. This would be the worst drum fill in the world. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, but you get the idea. Um, simply, very simply, all I've done, oh, I trusted Windows. Is this Windows a, uh, is, it, is this a, uh, and here's one I made earlier moment, yeah. Yeah. Here's one I made earlier. Right, so. It hasn't made it out of Bogwell and bits of dead dog either, it's <laughs> on the computer. Genuine samples. Um, I've just bypassed the inserts, I'll explain them in a second. Very, very rough again, so excuse how shit it is, but hey ho. Right, me get out of play once more for fun. Okay, now what I want to point out here is a lot of tom rolls sound better when they're tripleted, as this is. So it's that whole kind of, um, you know, nearly all of Epsis tunes are in that triplet feel, the swingy, swung, cheeky kind of dum 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 dum. Yeah, just, and, um, just very quickly to explain that, there's very different ways in every sequence, uh, but in Cubase it's up here. If you set your quantization to 1 8 triplet yeah. or 1 16 if you want to go fast, yeah. that hit Q. Does yeah, yeah. Um, so, so the grid, it. yeah. I mean, sixteenths would be. I mean, this will sound shit, but as example, I'll just quantize that to sixteenths, and that would be a, a straight rhythm. It will sound awful because it's now put them in a weird place. But hey ho. So it's da 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 da. It's, it's rigid, and then yeah, triplet. Oh, I hit the wrong key. Yeah. So I used the Apple ones. Um, triplet. It's got that swing feel to it, and a lot of a lot of these tom rolls are kind of 
the ride from perhaps you could almost say like stadium rock, like the kind of you know the big epic rock people that used to play massive stadiums, and having those big triplety tom fills just sounds. It's got an epic quality, hasn't it? Dream yeah. theater. Yeah, yeah. It's just got an epic quality to it. And then very quickly, all I've done to spruce them up a little bit is um, Cubase comes with a very functional, if somewhat limited, um, envelope shader, which all that does is the very beginning attack of the samples, the, the very the initial loud portion. Let's just zoom in here. It's kind of this bit saturated. Here, this bit here is is the what, is the transit shader basically. So the attack, all that's doing is making this first bit here louder than the rest, essentially. And what that effect that does is when you, with other stuff, is it makes it clip through to so the very first attack, like it punches through a little bit. So it's basically a kind of specialist compressor. There's loads of different plugins, like Transient Design is a very popular one. I think that's by SPL. Yeah. And I very much doubt it to be well to hear, um, because we haven't got a direct video for you, but I'll just sort of A B the two just so you get a rough idea. <laughs> Not going to be able to tell the difference, but trust me, and it does make a difference. And to my ears, I felt that they sounded a bit wide, so I just simply reduced the stereo width as well. Um, Again, you're not going to hear that. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but yeah, what that does is um, we about half on about stereo width and stuff. Like that's just bringing them more central, so they have more punch. That's basically. not something that you need to do. That's mm. we did it because it what sounded, sounded too right. wide. You know, just like just people always off. ask, what to do and do you boost this and this and do that. It, it fucking depends. Yeah. Like you, you got to ultimately the biggest thing with making music is spending putting the time in to learn what sounds, sounds right. right yeah. and that takes years. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it, but you know, just experiment and like try things out. And right, so that's that was basically. I mean, come again is a good example of that. I found some. I mean, the drum fill in that is pretty dire and like retrospectively, but I found a vengeance loop did exactly what I just showed you there. Just found ones with toms in, chopped them out, and I'm pretty sure they're the trip. The Are you sure that wasn't a Halley on film? No, 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 not oh, in come okay, again. Not in come again. Okay, we should crack on. Yeah, we'll I just want to show you more. We have got just enough time to. Have Fucking, I keep playing the Mac shortcuts. We've, we've, we've <laughs> turned into trendy Apple Mac boys, <laughs> and when we go back to using Windows, we're not used to the shortcuts yeah. anymore. Um, another thing which I would never really do, I'm only going to show you very briefly, is you can find sample packs with individual tom hits. So I've just found three very, very average sounding toms here, um, and you can hit, you could just sequence these like. So yeah, you, rather than chopping out of a loop, just like literally, if you have like sample pack. Like but, I, mean, hits and stuff I feel like, like that is almost condescending to suggest that, that I mean that, that to me is fucking obvious that you can get some tom samples and put them like that. Yeah, so that, if you that, find that, some that, nice tom samples, <laughs> you yeah. can line them up line, in a drum yeah, roll. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, that, that was more just to show the other thing. Anyway, it's time to switch chairs. Yeah. No. I just do it normally. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of just become a thing that we have to do that. In the <laughs> uh, okay. So um, the other. Option and this 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 is generally how we do it most of the time now is uh, using like really shitty drum sample samplers like Halion comes through with Cubase I'm sure that ESX thing yeah, the one with Logic has thing. some drum sample comes with them as well yeah and, and you know what they're they're pretty clean and you can usually kind of get a good sound out of them so um, I'm just gonna whack in a loop here really quickly um, what I'm gonna do is open up Halion. I'm going to really rush this because I always do. I'm just going to go into the browser and I've just typed in rock here. So I'm going to open up GM Rock Kit. Yeah. I think YouTube um, General Media is that they are all really clean. They sound naff, but when used in context, it's all context and mix. It'll have yeah. a lot of stuff over. Anyway, so what I'm going to do really quickly is I'm going to turn the release all the way down so you can make it snappier. Uh, this is kind of from memory, and then I'm going to pitch them up a bit. You don't have to do that, I just tend to do it. Anyway, so I've got like, some drum sounds loaded in now. Um, Probably have some naff reverb on if it's yeah. to be trusted. <laughs> They're way down. There you go. So yeah, I'm going to find some drum heads. <laughs> it's very musical. Very specific science like method. <laughs> true, true Dodge style. Okay, I'll kind of randomly play stuff in. So let's see what it sounds like now. Yeah. Kind of randomly hit shit to be honest. Um, but yeah, I mean that that kind of works. And then what makes it sound quite good is if you um. And that could do some the shit out of it. Um, yeah. Um, 
Where's the Sonox one? They're at a different, they're on this computer. I'm pretty sure they are. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we thought this one through well, haven't we? Uh, there are, they're in the more plugins. There are somewhere down the bottom. There's an inflator on the next page. Uh, there is the yeah, inflator. Yeah. Never, okay. So I'm just going to whack a limit on it. Just to make it a bit louder, and then I'm going to EQ it a bit. Um, what I tend to do is take the very low end out. Yeah, the sub frequencies, they're yeah. kind of unnecessary. Give a bit of a boost at 200 hertz for a bit of punch, and then lift the top a little bit as well to make it clean. So. Yeah. yeah. I think anyway. the key to this is, is realizing that from the mic that comes free with Cubase, I think you pay a premium for Cubase, free, but. That Halion has a whole host of these drum kits as well. I mean, you just typed in rock, but it's got, it's literally it's got loads of them um, in there. Uh, if you got rid of the search function, like in the drum perk, there'll be a whole list of them, and they are you don't they have to, to sift through and finding the right samples. But as ever, with many of the drums type stuff, it's having the right samples in the first place. Yeah, it's, it's all about basic sounds. I mean, to be honest, if you really want to go old school on the whole thing, that's it. Okay. You could. Uh, you could even use something like that, you know, I mean, that's going to have some pretty basic drum sounds on it, so, you know, you could probably use that, as long as you compress them really heavily, you know, it's, it's, you get that, it's, it's kind of part of the sound, really. What you've and done there, though, is you've just revealed that you actually have Rack Monkey just for show. Yeah, it's not even wired in. <laughs> <laughs> we try and live from professional. And I think, I think that's a good point to end, so, um, yeah, on a note, on the last, last tutorial, we had the Skrillex tutorial, uh, a lot of people seem to think we're trying to take the piss out of Skrillex, which wasn't actually what it was intended at. We're trying to take the piss out of the ridiculous peak requests we get of people asking us how to sound like Knife Party and Skrillex. Yeah. So if you didn't get that, I'm sorry, but please try and get a sense of humour. And, um, yeah, um... What else? Uh, any other tutorial requests? Like we're kind of running out of ideas a little bit at the moment because we've kind of covered most of the things we can think of. Yeah. So anything you want, we can um, get more specific now. I think at the moment we first started these, we were being just doing general broad, stuff. Yeah. I think th things like this is a good example of like honing on little things yeah. that, that you're interested in. We can spend. They might not be quite as long, which is good for us. I have no <laughs> idea how long this one is. We don't have a, have a timer because we're using an iPhone to film this. Um, okay, yeah, but like hit us up. The reason we did this one is because quite a few hit us up. People hit us up and ask for drum fill tutorials. So power the people. We do listen. We do listen. Make sure you subscribe. Send us all your comments on Twitter. Thank you for watching. Cheers, guys.